talk about what your monetary needs are. And I had this discussion, uh, just uh, and not speaking for anybody with Mr. Ballastero. We pay him a rate, but with everything going on in this, this, this cluster issue, I think we need to expand that. And what would be bringing him on board uh, is a, is a full-time, part-time uh, assistance to you. Please. Sure. Uh, in, in terms of the issues that we've been talking about with Aquarian, the good thing about that is that both the towns of Hampton and Northampton uh, have agreed in, with regard to the projects he's just done. Uh, his extensive set of comments uh, that he provided uh, cost about $7,500 total. We pay 60% of that with an agreement that the board authorized us to enter into. Northampton pays 40% of that. Um, so if you're looking at that, at, for just for this set of comments on the large groundwater withdrawal, uh, he, uh, this cost to us would be approximately $4,200. But I think there's going to be follow-up needed on that. Um, my budget, uh, the legal department's budget for uh, litigation expenses for the year is approximately $5,000 at present. Uh, we've already uh, we already will have exceeded that with his his work on this and uh, other aspects and so uh, I would think that in order for at least his costs to to deal with the subject uh, appropriately I should think we as, as a cushion uh, would want to raise that fund sum to approximately twenty thousand dollars because this large groundwater withdrawal is going to take up more time of his. We're going to be needing to address this, uh, the Eversource acquisition, uh, and also uh, we are simultaneously dealing with an appeal from the DES order to, um, to um, make a permanent interconnection with the stratum um, uh, wells that have been plagued with arsenic and which they've been under <coughs> DES orders to remediate but have done nothing about. And so uh, on our backs, on the backs of the infrastructure that we are funding, 76% of, uh, we have every interest in making sure that, uh, that that, if that's done at all, that it be done in an appropriate way and not penalizing Hampton customers. Okay, thank and you. that so requires you Mr. Ballesteros' efforts as well. And for the record, he is a, uh, a doctor, a doctorate, and he is a professor at the University of New Hampshire. Yes, he is. He's and an engineer, uh, licensed in several states, and uh, has been a professor at UNH for uh, many, many, many years. Okay, and then, uh, so a total of 20, is that in a, uh, on, on top of the five, or is it 15 more? 15 more. 15 more, and how do, how do we uh, go about doing that, Mr. Welch? Yes. Simply by an order of this board. Uh, I would make a motion that we authorize the expenditure up to $15,000 additional dollars for our expert, Dr. Bellastaro, to assist in the uh, intervention on the uh, purchase by Eversource to uh, um, uh, assist with uh, the town attorney with the Department of Environmental Services on both our well safety, water quality safety, and our uh, interest as they relate to the cancer cluster uh, uh, commission. As part of the large groundwater withdrawal. Yes, sir. Thank you. Second. Okay. Um, discussion. Regina. Th this is what we need outside experts on, and I agree with 100%. Preston. We're going to go find this in the budget. We'll find it. It, it. it deals with the public health of everyone in this town. Okay. We'll find it. Rick. You know, I hope that this is the right way to do it. Um, I just don't know how effective it's going to be that we're going to if we're going to achieve anything here, from what I've seen in the past. Yeah. That's the problem here. Well, I would say just as one measure of it, uh, when Dr. Ballastero talks, DES listens, and you'll see that their their response to his comments of August three. Uh, are reflective of how much they respect him right. and, uh, have, as a matter of fact, have stopped the idea of the pumping test for the moment. Mm -hmm. and so what about the public utilities? 
Well, the Public <coughs> Utilities Commission uh, so far has this joint petition that's rather thick with a bunch of confidential documents. And I'm not sure Eversource knows what they're getting into, but I think they will after we get involved. So what, the first thing you were asking for is just permission to be involved? To yes, to file a petition to intervene. Okay. So we so we got two issues here. Yes. About. How about if we deal with the first issue for, well, we got a motion and we got a second on the floor. Um, you would engage him only when necessary. I mean, this is not necessarily saying 15,000 or right away you go out and get him involved. Well, he already is. He already is, but you, but, but he's, you, you're paying for what he's already done. Correct. So are you saying that you're going to authorize him up to 15,000 more right away, or are you saying you're going to wait and see if you need him? He, he bills. He, it, w it would not be. We, I do not have. Uh, our contract with him is, is uh, a joint contract with Northampton on an hourly basis. Uh, this sum of money that's being talked about here is to, is to provide the ability within the budget to cover whatever is expended for that reason. It's not to say we'll definitely expend it. That's it's, what I'm saying. That's it's as needed. That's what I'm asking. Uh, and you say that th we bill the line in, in Mark's budget that, uh, that refers to this particular matter, and that falls to the bottom line of the town budget. We always have money left over at the bottom line of the town budget. That's how it's always been handled in the past if you overexpend a particular line. Because you get monthly statements, uh, as you hear from the finance director, right. um, by statute, the fact that you get those statements allows you to uh, make an expenditure that exceeds a particular line, and automatically there will be, uh, if, it's, if it's not an expenditure in another in any number of lines across the entire budget, that will be covered. No, you, you don't need to identify yep. a okay. place to get it yep. from. Yep. Is Northampton going to go along with us, or do we need to involve them? Because now we're increasing. They went along with the first. We split it. How, what was the split? 60-40. 60-40. Was that a con that they would continue to split 60-40, or is this something we have to go back to Northampton? Uh, I would go back to Northampton to the extent of involving Dr. Ballestero in this uh, acquisition by Eversource, which uh, he hasn't specifically been involved in, but a number of the issues that I've identified to you in the petition to intervene are touch upon the areas that he's already been involved in. And I'm sure that Northampton is, is going to wait uh, to find out, have been asking us how are we going to approach the petition right. to intervene. And I'm sure that they will will uh, follow along. And when you do the petition to intervene, then what's the procedure? So you send the thing that you petition to intervene. What happens? Uh, that is going to be uh, ruled upon by the commission on uh, August 17th. So they could say no? They could say no. Uh, they never have. All right. They may not have always listened to our concerns, but they've never denied us the uh, ability to articulate them. Okay. Um, I do think that it's a great idea. To that represent. document needs to also go to Eversource. It will. There, there, there. This document goes to everyone who's okay. on the service list. Uh, but even if they aren't on the service list, it'll certainly go to Northampton and Rye. Okay. So we're voting on expanding, increasing the money increasing a line item in the budget. Here was the motion, Mr. Chairman. The motion was to authorize uh, an expenditure of up to $15,000 to retain the service this year for Dr. Ballestero in the efforts of this intervention with the Eversource acquisition of uh, Aquarion uh, about water quality and uh, our, our testing in, in, in water quality in Hampton and assistance with the uh, cancer cluster as it relates to Hampton's interest. Okay. So we're going to take a vote on that. So there's the motion. We had a second. All in favor? Okay. It's unanimous. Now, we put the cart before the horse here because we haven't voted to say you can intervene. So let's have a motion it, 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 well, on that. Well, yeah, and, and I just had more questions as we were going yeah, down. Why don't we take a vote oh, on oh, okay, I'm sorry, just motion to intervene first? Make a motion that Mark files a motion, yeah. motion to intervene. Second. Okay. All in favor of allowing the intervention? Yes. Unanimous. Right. That is the cart before the horse. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, 